from World of Walt, coming to you live from Disney's Hollywood Studios. It's a Saturday morning, and we are going to be checking out Beauty and the Beast live on stage. It's going to be starting in just a couple minutes. Thanks for joining me. It's kind of a wet Saturday morning here at Walt Disney World, about 64 degrees, rain on and off. Going to get up to about 70. Hopefully the rain will clear a little bit, otherwise it's going to be kind of a soggy day. But we are covered here, and Beauty and the Beast live on stage will go on. We'll be firing up here in just a minute. Mike from Missouri, good morning to you. Hope you're doing well. Hi, Emmy. Thank you for joining me. Lori, good morning to you. Hi, Robin. Welcome to Disney's Hollywood Studios. Just a couple minutes away from the start of Beauty and the Beast live on stage. Lizette, Merry Christmas to you in Puerto Rico. Hope you're doing well. Jillian from Chicago. Hi, Lisa. Robert says it's 50 in New Jersey. Well, it sounds uh, not so bad for December, although the rain's not fun. Robin from New Hampshire. John, good morning to you. Hello, Ryan and Erica. Thank you for being here. Lori from Hershey, Pennsylvania. Jennifer's got 267 days to go. They'll go by fast. Carol, good morning to you from England. Thank you for joining me. I guess it's good afternoon to you. Crystal, Merry Christmas. Fran, Merry Christmas. Susan from Cape May. I assume the real Cape May in New Jersey, not the Disney restaurant. Yvonne from Boise. Hello, John. Chris, good morning to you. Diana from Philadelphia, also baking cookies. A lot of people are making cookies. That is still on the list for our household. Danielle is a fan of Beauty and the Beast live on stage. Dave and Carrie liked and shared. Thank you very much. I always appreciate the comments. It's fun to chat back and forth. Thank you also for the shares. Great way to get the word out. Merry Christmas, Sarah in Ohio. Beverly from Delaware. Ah, thank you for the share as well. So we are just a couple minutes away from Beauty and the Beast live on stage here at Disney's Hollywood Studios. Uh, quite a few people in the audience. Still have a few coming in. Looks like there's some room way up at the top and the bleachers kind of far away. You can see the uh, ladies and gentlemen in the control center here have taken their seats. So I think we're pretty close to a start. Carla has never watched Beauty and the Beast live on stage. Glad you could check it out here with us today. Once the show begins, I will be quiet so you can enjoy the show and those around me can do so as well. I'll try to zoom in a little bit. The ability to zoom in on the iPhone during a Facebook Live is kind of limited. We'll do what we can. Elizabeth asks about the weather. 64 degrees, cloudy, rainy. Not the most pleasant of days, but uh, definitely better than freezing snow. And it may clear up a little bit. Topher's got eight miles to run today. Good for you. Oh, run Disney next month. Good for you. I've actually been thinking about a Disney race myself. Sarah says it's a great show. I agree with you there. Marlin's got cold weather in Wisconsin. Daniel from Massachusetts. All right, here we go. Enjoy. Castle and offered him a single rose in return for sh- 
shelter from the bitter cold. Repulsed by her haggard appearance, the prince sneered at the gift and turned the old woman away. But she warned him not to be deceived by appearances, for beauty is found within. She had seen that there was no love in his heart, and as punishment she transformed him into a hideous beast and placed a powerful spell on the castle and all who lived there. If he could learn to love another and earn their love in return, the spell would be broken. If not, he would be doomed to remain a beast for all time. As the years passed, he fell into despair and lost all hope. For who could ever learn to love a beast?
Hmm, how about a bell? Very nice. Stan, may I have my book back, please? It's not my for a woman to read, Belle. <laughs> oh, you are positively primeval. Oh, well, thank you. Excuse me. Well, marry me, Belle. Today's the day all your dreams come true. What? than even she in her wildest imagination could have dreamt. But through a series of strange circumstances, she found herself held captive inside a dark and foreboding castle, inhabited by a very odd collection of characters. Master will be furious if he finds out what we're up to. Well, we don't have to tell him, do we? There is nothing to worry about. No, nothing. Just our entire future. Oh, pish posh. Be our guest for dinner. We'll keep it simple. What are you talking about? What's going on? Come on, Mom. Come along, Chip, dear. Oh, dear. No need to worry. We'll keep it simple. Hi. Stop. Stop it, I say. Do you hear me? All of you. I said quiet. <laughs> if we're going to do this, then let's do it. But of course, we must make them feel welcome. Esteemed madames and messieurs, it is with deepest pride and greatest pleasure that we welcome you. And now, we invite you to relax, pull up a chair, as the dining room proudly presents your dinner.
This way, I thought I saw, and when we touched, she didn't shut her at my part. But it can't be, I'll just ignore, but then she's never looked at me that way before. Come on, the nuts. 
Everybody, thanks for joining me. Beauty and the Beast live on stage. Next Saturday, I'll be coming to you live from Epcot if all goes according to plan for the candlelight processional in the evening time. Look for a post. Thanks for joining me. Thanks, as always, for the comments, especially the uh, shares and the likes. Wishing you a very Merry Christmas and a great Saturday. Till next time, God bless. <laughs>